A long time ago, in a vast green forest, there lived a woodcutter and his family. The woodcutter was quite poor. They lived in a small cottage and not enough to eat. Every day, the woodcutter went into the forest to cut trees, which he sold to earn money so he could buy some food for his family. One sunny morning, as the woodcutter set out to find a special tree to cut, he saw something amazing. It was a huge oak tree, much bigger and fancier than the others. Its branches were like open arms, and the leaves made a lovely sound when the wind blew. The woodcutter got really happy because he thought that oak tree could get them lots of money, and they could buy plenty of food. He was just about to chop it down when he heard a gentle voice from above. It was a cute fairy sitting on one of the tree's branches. She said, kind woodcutter, please don't harm my tree. It's a magical oak tree and it hold great power. If you don't cut it, I promise your kindness will be rewarded. The woodcutter was a kind-hearted man. He didn't know what to do. He wanted to help his family, but he also didn't want to be mean to the fairy. With a heavy heart, he stepped away from the magnificent oak tree, leaving it untouched. The fairy's face lit up with gratitude. She granted him a precious gift. She said, For your noble heart, I'll give you three wishes. You can wish for anything you want, and it will come true. The woodcutter was surprised by this, but he didn't really believe in magic. He thanked the fairy and went on to find another tree to cut. He was still thinking about his family and their empty tummies, and soon the encounter with the fairy slipped from his mind. That evening, when he came back home, his wife served dinner. It was just a simple meal of pea porridge and brown bread. The woodcutter looked at the food and sighed. Without really thinking, he said, I wish we had a feast before us. Suddenly, the room was filled with all sorts of delicious foods. There were roasted meats, pies, fruits, and sweets. Everyone was amazed, and they couldn't believe their eyes. They were not able to understand what was happening. Then suddenly, Woodcutter remembered the fairy and told his wife all about it. He told her that fairy had granted him three wishes. His wife was a bit greedy, and she couldn't understand why her husband had wasted a wish on a meal while he could have asked for gold and jewels. She got more and more upset with her husband for making a silly wish. She scolded him. You could have wished for riches beyond our wildest dreams, and yet you wished for this feast. Her words stung the woodcutter, but he had not been thinking of wealth when he made his wish. He just wished to have some good dinner, and was simply grateful for the unexpected feast before him. His wife was shouting at him. He was getting tired of all the arguing, and without really thinking, he said, I wish my wife couldn't speak, so she wouldn't say hurtful things to me. Suddenly, his wife couldn't speak anymore. The woodcutter realized what he had done, but it was too late. He had accidentally used his second wish, and now his wife couldn't say a single word. Both of them were really surprised and didn't know what to do because they had created a very strange situation. They had wasted two wishes for nothing, and now they knew they had just one wish left. The woodcutter was scared that if he used it for something else, his wife might never speak again. So the woodcutter made his final wish, saying, I wish my wife can speak again. As his wife was able to speak again, they both realized the mistake they had made. They both were upset because they had wasted all three wishes, and they couldn't change their situation anymore. The next day, the woodcutter went back to the forest to find the fairy and the magical oak tree, but they were nowhere to be found. They had disappeared. They didn't get any gold or jewels, but they had learned an important lesson that greed may lead to unwise choices. The woodcutter's wife understood that being content with what they had was more important than being greedy for more. They understood that they should be more careful and thoughtful when making their wishes. And that is the end of our amazing story. I hope you enjoyed the adventurous journey of the honest woodcutter and the magical fairy. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for joining us today.
Goodbye for now, and see you in the next adventure.